So I got a handy little cable in the mail that allow me to te take this teach pendant, which I can't use really in industry because I had a student drop it in the e-stop, is kind of uh, um, buggered and cattywampus and kind of pushed through the plastic, but it's still a usable teach pendant um, otherwise. So they have the ability for us to hook it up to a basically a AC power adapter to turn on off and connect through internet to RoboGuy. So we're going to try that today. Let's talk about setting the teach pendant up. So I got this little cable here that's an on-off switch. It's plugged into 110. Um, and then on the cable itself, there's a split off here that's plugged into my switch. And this goes connected to the power supply. The other side plugs right into your teach pendant. And to turn this on, literally just flip the switch. So and here you go. Um, this is, is going to do a normal boot up. If it doesn't, if you hold down shift, I, and position all at the same time, it will get to the screen. So I'll just do that right now just to show you. So shift, I, and position, it will get to the, the, set, the main teach pen and setup screen. So shift, I, and position. And I'm just gonna hold that in because this is the screen it gets you to, okay? And for you to get into Robo Guide mode, you just gotta hit the Robo Guide mode. And this is gonna tell you, do you wanna connect to an I, uh, R30IB? Make note of this because if it's a plus, it won't work and you need to match your um, robot guide cell to that setup. Um, I'm gonna do connect to I pendant. You can use to upset, static, static or DHCP. I'm gonna do DHCP and hit next and make sure your robo guide cell is open and this is where things can get a little bit um, interesting it's going to find it okay and if it doesn't connect it's going to give you a red in this case it's connecting so i've had hit or miss with connections um, we'll see if it connects being redirected and there it works so I've had issues a little bit sometimes connecting that so try a couple times um, for it to connect um, and I'll show you a workaround um, on the computer when I sit down to do the computer side setup but that's how you do the teach pendant and get that set up so now that we have our teach pendant set up and we're actually able to move it around and you can see no hands on the mouse teach pendant Shift reset, oh, so shift reset, and then you can see on the screen that it's actually moving the robot with a T spin. So how do we get here? So one of the things that you'll have to do is go up to Window, uh, go up to Tools, and Options, and under Teach right here, you can see you use this physical teach pendant exclusively. This is where you will need to click that to be able to make this override. If I turn this off now, I'll use the virtual teach pendant in the robo guide. So click that and then restart your, your work cell, okay? Um, other thing you'll need to do is make sure that, I'm gonna go to robot and properties. Let me serialize the robot. Yes, I know. Serialize the robot. It may take a second and check it that your software version is the right one. At first I had it at the 9 plus and this teach pendant was only for the 30, you know, 30 IB. So check to make sure that the, the revisions are matching and before you create the robot. Also robot options. Um, I was trying to sync to my laptop and let me just see if that was an issue. I'm just going through. Maybe it wasn't, but I was having trouble syncing with my laptop, and it could be because of uh, the way we have it configured. But um, at first, uh, just these are the, the options that I have set up. So fairly stripped down robot, and it, it found it, and it's it's syncing. Um, so I'm going to cancel because I don't want to re-serialize the robot. So if you're having issues, try re-serializing to match, match the hardware. But on the robot guide side, it's easy. Just start it up and go. The hard part's on this side. Awesome. Something I should have mentioned while I was courting, if, at, when you push that shift I position button, 
it will show you the version of your teach pendant and that has to match your robot controller. I, I scanned through that really fast, um, but I wanted to draw that out right here at the end because future Dan is much smarter than past Dan. Um, but I want to pull that out because you can see that there's the version 8.3105 um, and, and my, my RoboGuide version was 8.31. So just FYI, just want to point that out. Um, before you hit the uh, RoboGuide mode on the Teach Pendant when you're setting up, make note of that so you can set your robot to match.